Hi, my name is Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I'm a practicing homeopathic doctor and a psychological counselor. I have been in Bangalore for the last 20 years and in the profession for the last 30 years. And I have two clinics, one in ACS layout and one in HSR layout. The white part of your eye is called conjunctiva. The white part which is responsible for the movement, which is also responsible when you move your eyes, you see it all around the cornea, that is the conjunctiva. The inflammation, infection of this zone is known as conjunctivitis. So how do you recognize there is conjunctivitis? You will see that the area becomes red, A. B, you see a lot of watering of the eyes. C, there's a sand feeling, as if there is a particle of sand inside the eye. There's a lot of gritty feeling and the patient keeps on scratching because he can't get one. In a few cases, when the patient really gets bad, you will see a swelling of the eye and the person can't open his eyes. And in the fifth case, you see suppuration in which in the morning when you wake up, the eyes are attached to each other, they stick to each other. Now in all such, in all the stages of these conjunctivitis, homeopathy has a medicine. And those medicines are very efficacious. One of the generic medicines for conjunctivitis is known as euphrasia. Euphrasia comes in terms of tablets as well as euphrasia eye drops. So please use that, go to a doctor, select the right potency. Apart from medication, if you wash your eyes with a boric acid decoction, take two pinches of boric acid, boil it in water along with cotton and wash your eyes number of time, it gives you good relief. And the second home remedy you can use here is used tea bags. If used tea bags can be stored in the refrigerator and you can pull them out every two hours and give yourself a gold fermentation of the eye. It relieves the conjunctivitis as well as it brings down the symptoms and the patient can be much better. The only other precaution which you must take along with medicines management is that conjunctivitis is as good as any other viral or bacterial infection. It requires rest, it requires a certain degree of isolation so that you don't spread it because it is contagious. And the third thing is make sure that your diet is simple so that the body is in a better place to fight it, but it is curable.